Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and I have a very special guest and her name is Lucy Lovato. She's going to be sharing her testimony about Fashion by God and her story and I just want you to sit back and listen. I really believe this is going to encourage you today. I want to say thank you so much Lucy for coming on. I'm so excited that you're joining us today. Um, share with the viewers how we met and um, a little bit about your story, like what you do, your story. I know you have kids. Yes. Share with the viewers about those things. All right, well, I'm so honored to be here, so thank you for having me. Um, my name is Lucy Lovato. I am a child of God. I am a mother of six, three biologically mine, three adopted. Um, I am with the love of my life, God's work. That's a different story for a different day to share. Mm -hmm. um, I am a grandmother of a gorgeous little girl. Mm. And yeah, I have been in direct sales for 13 years. I love to have um, or help women have a fragrance in their home that they feel comfortable in and homey and even have memories of some good memories of childhood memories that they have in their home so um, I'm also in the corporate world of do have an eight to five job so I do both worlds uh, entrepreneur and a corporate lifestyle so here I am and I am learning to put God first in everything that I do and lately you have been more in tune with God right how has that been like following God because you were kind of doing your own thing like you said yes. and so how when did you really like c c committed commit yourself to God who I have a hunger for God right now that's just like on 100 um it was in 2021 that I was going through um a depression uh which was very not like Lucy Lovato mm -hmm. um I've always been the uh fast-paced boss girl just doing 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 um, and what I've learned from that is I was doing stuff on my own will and not God's will and so I got burned out I got tired I started having um, anxiety and panic attacks and um, today I understand it was God calling me mm -hmm. um, I went to see therapists got on medication um, for seven days I was in this um, not me someone was something was in me um, for seven days and I was just having these thoughts of not worthy not not good enough comparing myself or how would my family be if I was just not in this mm -hmm. world anymore mm -hmm. um, and for three days straight I got on my knees and I was praying like God um, take this out of me take the spirit out of me this is not a view I know it's not a view this is not me um, and for three days straight I got on my knees to pray and the third day I woke up and the minute that I took the breath and opened my eyes I knew that it was me thank God and um, I woke up my son he was about five years old and he slept next to me and I was waking him up and he was like, Mom, Mom, I was so scared for you last night. There was a dark spirit that came out of mm -hmm. you. I'm sorry. He said, there was a dark shadow that came out of you. Wow. And I was so scared to even wake you up. And I was like, whatever it was, I know that it's out of me. And thank God. And babe, we're going to have a good day today. I put yeah. praising music on. And from then on, I knew that I had to open my heart and accept God as my Lord and Savior. Praise God. And, and I got baptized the next month after that in November of 2021. Wow. That is a powerful testimony. So you got saved and then you found out about Fashion by God, the ministry that I have for women. What inspired you to attend? How did you find out and what made you want to go to our first Fashion by God event? Well, I had literally drifted away from God's word again. Yeah. And I was feeling a tug on my heart to come back, come back, come back. And um, I was praying for God connect me with godly women, like connect me with people that I could grow my relationship with you even stronger. Yeah. And um you came into the picture one of my very good childhood friends elizabeth lopez invited me to a selfie event that you were having mm -hmm. and um 
I was like putting it on my calendar and from the minute she told me your full name I went and looked you up on Instagram mm -hmm. and it was like ah godly <laughs> fangirl in you like a hundred percent that day and you were actually on your way to a garland yeah. church uh -huh. to go uh, do worship yeah and I was cooking dinner and I was like I'm going to this I'm not dressed my hair yeah. was slicked back and I just like threw a wow. blouse on real uh -huh. quick and I went it was 20 minutes away from the house so it was really close to me um, I felt like I was like just go show up mm -hmm. and you ended up giving the message on top of the worship yeah like, the worship you give is the praise and it just brings his presence um, so that was beautiful and when the message you gave that day was on assignment. Mm. And I was like, this is for me, Lord. Like, wow. I know he has an assignment for me. And um, I accepted that day, like, Lord, I'm here. Use mm. me, please use me. Wow. Um, and you prayed over me. <clears throat> and I was in a, um, I was battling with the grief for four years ago that I just kept so much anger and resentment on yeah. and I was in the healing process and that day you prayed over me I felt this shift mm -hmm. something shift in me that I was no longer angry mm -hmm. um, and I was able to grieve and accept and just have love through that grief huh. of my niece um, which is the mother of the three the kids three I kids, adopted yeah. um, so again god placed me there and so and connected me with you since then yeah since then and from there um you got my book i got your book i went to the selfie event connected with other women that i'm so excited to see at this at the shine event um yeah. and i what was, was able, yeah i was able to invite 15 girls to your selfie yes, bible yes. conference and i mean the event, the yeah, event. Uh -huh. and um, ten showed up. Uh -huh. So That's I'm praying blessing. that, yeah, I'm praying that the other five will be able to show up to your conference and get a piece of this. Because it's, it's so, so true. Blessing. I just recently preached on with this woman. It talked about when a woman found what she was looking for. It said that she calls all her neighbors and she tells all her friends, "I found the coin." And I believe that was like you. You're like, I found myself again. I found my dreams. I found my purpose. I found my d identity. Now you like want to go share about it and that's one thing about fashion by god i feel like women feel lost or insecure yes. or they're dealing with pain or resentment or unforgiveness and mm -hmm. and we have all the fun girly stuff that's what i love because yes. i love the fashion the glam and the glitter all that but one thing is that women go impacted and change and at that first fashion by god did you feel like you left impacted or you felt like you left with a I got to go tell others or inspiration to do what God's called of you. What was it about that event that changed or shifted your perspective? Yes. I was just like so happy for those other girls to show up. Mm. It, it, I felt my calling wow. right then. Like, okay, I need to share and I need to start with the circle, my circle, um, and share with others of, you know, his goodness and yeah, yeah that you could praise god honor god feel fear god and also have fun while yes, doing it yes. you know with other beautiful women and um that's what i knew i was in the right like i just god placed me in the right group and connected me to you through that um selfie event and um did you also meet other women there by I did, chance i did um don't know her full name. Uh, Grace. What, what, what? Uh, the Grace. style by Grace. Yes. Karina. Karina. Yes, yes. And her sister. I was supposed to have coffee with them the next day, but they uh -huh. were too far out. Uh -huh. And I had, you know, some yeah. some other promises that I was promised to be at. And I wasn't able to have coffee with them well, that morning. They'll be at the VIP. You'll be in VIP. They'll be Yay! in VIP. So y'all get okay, to have yeah, I cannot wait like to lunch and everything. Yes. She's so amazing. And, yes. uh, and so what do you feel that 
why do you feel women should attend that have never been in Fashion by God or why should they attend the Fashion by God conference on June 24th? What is it that you think they will leave? Would they leave change? How would, how, what do you think that they will? They will for sure leave change. Like you will for sure leave change coming to this event if you yeah. just show up. Like show up if you're sad, show up if you're depressed, mm. show up if you're happy, you yes. know, show up in the highs or the lows, wherever you are in your journey, show up because I'm telling you, at a 30 minute um, word that she shared at, you know, at the assignment that I see, uh -huh. you know, the message of assignment. Then I also went to visit you at um, um, another church in uh -huh. Roy City. Yes. And it was rebirthing. And uh -huh. it's like God placed me in these moments um, with her giving the word. And the message was just directly to me. So wow. whatever they share at this Shine Conference, I'm surely is going to be directed just for you, wherever you are in life right now. Um, I know things have shifted for me right now. I am at the lowest moments of my life. I mm -hmm. just lost my brother. And going through this grieving process, I feel so much joy at the wow. same time that it's just so, it's unbelievable, but it's all God's work. And mm -hmm. um I just know that this event will change you. Um, I feel that there's going to be breakthrough and shift and God's just going to mold you to who he wow. created you to be. That's so powerful. Um, I love what you said. I know that you've been going through some tough times with, you know, your brother uh, passing and I've been able to you know be there for your family and and i love uh being able to meet your family and just share the love of god to them and i love also what you said is that i don't know if you already know or not but it's just god moving because one of i'm gonna minister on the word shine on i'm ministering twice and one of them is an acronym of shine that's how i love to preach and the s is show up oh wow the s is show wow. up so it's like god using you and you hear god's voice because it's i talk about if you show up God will show out and I think sometimes we don't want to show up because you look at the dirt you look yes. at the hurt you look at all that that's you know it's called shine bright like a diamond mm -hmm. and um, a lot of women see like they've been under pressure they've been under hurt but it has just molded you to that diamond to shine and now God's using you from your story from your past from your experience it's like sometimes we don't think God can you use me but he's using you to be a blessing to other women and uh, I'm seeing your friends and all these like being impacted just by your obedience and so um, I just want to encourage those that that are thinking about attending this is just one testimony of many women uh, that testify about the Fashion by God conference it's not just a conference you go in and go out I believe you're gonna be impacted she says breakthrough change it's gonna yes, shift your perspective Lord. it's gonna shift your life God has anointed you and it's time to walk in that anointing your your family needs you um, uh, your bit the business the companies wherever you go they need you to they need your shine and don't diminish or don't uh, dim your shine this is the hour for us to rise up any last words before we close to the women out there I just want to say thank you like you have truly inspired me and I've been so hungry for the Lord and you have been a part of feeding me wow his word and and just helping me build my relationship with him and um your book has also helped me in so many ways. Um, if you have not gotten her book, you must read. It's um, Crowned. Um, it is of the book of Esther. And, you know, we are all born with greatness. Mm -hmm. And we all have a purpose in life. And um, I haven't shared this with you. So this is my yes, first time share to share. share with me. I love it. Um, the week that my brother had his cardiac arrest, yeah. Uh, it was a Monday, and the next day I planted a prayer service at my house yes. with my circle of friends, and they all showed up. Wow. Um, and so now, in dedication of that, I have felt this calling of continue with this prayer session. Oh, wow. Um, so every first Tuesday of the month, because okay. it was the first Tuesday, uh -huh. so every first Tuesday of the month, I am having a prayer session at my house. Praise God. I'm so um, happy. Yeah. So well, that, look, that is amazing. Like, you went from 
all these things to where God has you and what just started as a prayer session like God is continue and I'm so excited to hear that and I pray that God continues to use you and you're anointed for that and uh, and just that's exciting I just I'm so excited and many this could be you you know you, wherever you're at you like I talk about in my book crown which she was saying like talk about my book that sometimes you might be in a state of depression a state yes. of loneliness a state of you know you're saying what's next a state of not having that direction but you God has called you to be in a state of royalty that means yes, when you're walking in royalty you're going to lead to other women's and it's just going to ripple effect that so I'm so proud of you may God yes. continue to use you thank you so much uh, for your time and just sharing with those and I really believe like even if those that can't make in the conference I believe your testimony is going to truly impact and, and bring someone uh, to Christ in that way our upcoming conference is June 24th in Fort Worth Texas I'll be putting the flyer up there I'm having my dad prophet George R. Rojas he is a man of faith I am a fruit of my dad you know they say the, the fruit doesn't fall far from the tree <laughs> so he is a powerful man of God and he speaks with so much wisdom been in the ministry for 40 years so Same. don't want to miss it I will be speaking we have minister Narisha she is a woman of God we're going to be doing a panel with her and she carries so much wisdom so you'll be able to write questions or send in text messages anonymous anonymous uh, Lee and so we're going to have photo booth we're going to have powerful worship by all tribes they're anointed I mean when I say anointed they're literally all tribes they're all different ethnicities and they just lead worship uh, we're going to have women flying from Oregon from San Antonio South Texas Florida women are coming from all over so if you want more information below would be our fashioned ed fashioned by god.com you can get your tickets there we are limited seating we only have a few vip tickets left so join us you don't want to miss it thank you so much lucy for joining us and we will see you next time thank you for tuning in bye everyone winds are formed deep beneath the ground through pressure and heat they are hidden not easy to be found they are rare, expensive, and valuable. Maybe you have felt unseen, have faced challenging times, and have had setbacks. You may have seen yourself as a rock beneath the dirt, but God sees a diamond ready to be used for his glory. But you have to see yourself the way he sees you. The enemy lies and says that you're worthless, not enough, and that it's too late but you got to dust off the lies and get a new perspective of who you are and that you're capable with his strength to live out your dreams, calling, and purpose. You have gone through the process, the pressure, and at times wanting to give up, but it has formed you as a beautiful diamond ready to shine. God never wastes any of our experiences and can use them for his glory. So arise and shine bright like a diamond. Join us on June You not just have half of my kingdom, yeah. you have all my kingdom. It's gonna go to your house. It's gonna go to your business. It's gonna go to your children. We don't know who we are. Who did I decide to be? Yeah. Who did others tell me I had to be? Yeah. Mm. And then who did God say? Yeah. Join women from everywhere to attend our Fashion by God conference. Get your tickets today.